Alright guys, let me show you this CAS tester. Okay, it's CAS 3 and 4. And what it does is it tests the CAS module to see one, is it functioning? And then two, we like to use it um, after we program a key. Okay, so we just program this key right here. I'm not going to take you through that process. I already have a video on that, but we like to test it just to make sure that the key is functioning before we ship it back out to the customer um, because we don't have the car to test. Okay, so let me show you how it works. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't have the tripod. three okay so this is what the tester looks like and let's go ahead and get this set up oh boy I should have grabbed the tripod it's gonna be tough trying to do this with one hand So I've got the ribbon cables connected. I didn't even take the uh, the, um, the board off yet, the CAS3 for the programming, uh, just to kind of save some time. So I kind of unhooked it. Uh, let me plug this out uh, because I'll need power uh, for the tester. All right, so. If I can hold this up so you guys can kind of see it. Alright, so the tester goes in here. Okay, and, and then the little part, this side goes in here. So let me just put the camera down real quick so I can, um, so I can put it in. So I got everything connected. I have the the tester part on this side and then the smaller one here. Uh, my ribbon cable is connected here. Now let me go ahead and get it plugged in. Alrighty. Uh, so let me just kind of explain this really quickly. Um, so if we see this light here, this D2, where it says can, um, as long as that's on uh, and blinking, which it is, that means the CAN bus is functioning as it should, okay, as if it were in the car. Uh, this D4 right here, this says data. Um, this light is supposed to be solid. If it's not solid or not on at all, uh, then you have a problem with the CAS data. So what this is indicating right here, the solid light for D4 means that the CAS data is valid. Um, it's reading as being valid. Okay. So uh, before I take the program key, I'll show you what an unprogrammed key does. Alright, so here's an unprogrammed key. So here's what I'm going to be looking for. Uh, you see this light right here, D3. Um, 
once I put the key in, that light should be blinking. Okay, it should be blinking red. Blinking red indicates that the key is giving off the signal that it should be. So let's see. All right. So see how that's blinking red. I'm hoping it's you guys can see it on camera. So that's blinking red indicating that the key is giving off a signal. So it is giving off a signal. All right. So how do we know whether or not the key will start the vehicle? Well, I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, let me put it out here so we can see it red there, which means it's giving a signal. Um to tell whether or not a key can start the vehicle is if you get an audible sound with that blinking. So not only that the key is giving a signal, but it will give you an audible sound. So if we program this key correctly, okay, and the data or the key data is stored into this cast module, when I put this key in here, okay, to simulate ignition. I should one see that the key is reading which is going to be the red but I should hear an audible sound indicating it is a valid key so let's test it let's take this one out and let's pull the one that I just programmed and let's put it in okay so we see that the key is giving off a signal you see the red but now that I can hear that audible sound indicates that this is a valid key that will start this vehicle so now i'm comfortable with sending this module and the customers uh, dme back to them i know this vehicle will start the car again there's the program key okay, let's take an unprogram key i see that i'm getting a signal here Okay, but nothing, nothing. Nothing, okay, so this vehicle will not start the car. Nothing. Let's take my program key. to go cast tester a okay